<laughs> Owned. Really? <laughs> Big time, huh? Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So we have another video about another child hunter, trophy hunter this time. And this interview that we're going to show you happened on British TV. And it's fascinating to watch as a vegan. Absolutely, yeah. There's some real insights and we're looking forward to getting into this with you. So here we go. There are other ways, of course, uh, to putting food on the table. You don't have to do um, big game hunting. Is there something about the actual killing that appeals? as opposed to you driving to the supermarket and having paid someone else to do the killing for you so you can buy that meat all pretty and packaged up. You see how a see? vegan would put it to a carnist? Yeah. You know, uh, you're pointing out the fact that food can be put on the table without killing. That's yes, exactly what a vegan is saying to a carnist. Mm -hmm. You just eat the plants. So whether it's hunting or paying someone to kill animals for meat, dairy and eggs, it's exactly it's the, the same, same thing. It involves killing animals unnecessarily. Mm, the difference is um, we can see it, well, more, more people in society can see it when we're looking at hunters and criticising hunters, but it's like we can't see it when we go to the supermarket to buy meat. Even though and everyone eggs. is posting about meat, dairy and eggs yes. in the foods that they've eaten on their various social media platforms, exactly. but it is more hidden yeah, it because is. it's more socially accepted. Yeah, so what this interview, as you'll see, is going to show is a whole heap of hypocrisy and speciesism and very interesting how the table turns. There's always a remorse when any animal's life is taken, no matter what. And if, if any hunter ever tells you they don't have remorse, they're, they're not a true hunter. So, so long as you show remorse as the mm. perpetrator of violence, that makes it okay? Of course not. I mean... Could, it, a, could a rapist or a murderer uh, use the same excuse? Oh, I, I was no. remorseful. Or, you know, no. a, a man who beats his wife, yeah, for example. Yeah, I'm sorry, I love you, but I'm going to slap you around every Friday night after I have a couple of drinks? Remorse doesn't that justify doesn't count. the crime whatsoever. Absolutely not. To the victim, that doesn't matter. It's their life and their safety, their security, that is important to them. Exactly, so. and we need to start looking at what we're doing to animals uh, in the same way that we would look at yeah. if those same things were done to humans. You know, they are, they're crimes. I mean... Mm. Because to the victim, violence is violence. Exactly. It doesn't matter if they're humans, if they're cats, if they're donkeys, if they're chickens. They want their life, they don't want to be hurt. It's as simple as that. Remorse doesn't count. Yeah, and I mean, okay, hunting might be legal now in many countries around the world, but hey, slavery was legal once upon a time. That's so, right. But we recognised that was wrong and we changed it. Yeah. And just thought we'd comment on the t-shirts that uh, father and daughter are wearing here. Stand up to anti-hunter bullying. Mm. Talk about manipulation because these are the perpetrators of the violent crimes of, you know, killing someone when they're hunting and yet they are playing the victim card. Oh, you know, don't bully, don't bully the, the bully. Bullying. Yeah. Yeah. On your Facebook page, I noticed lots of pictures of you cuddling your pet cat, right? You've got a lovely little pet cat. How would you feel if I came to your house one day and I hunted down your pet cat and I killed it and I then posted pictures of me celebrating the slaughter of your pet cat. Says every single vegan, this is the bomb. This is the, the crux of the interview. Yeah. This guy has just encapsulated the thoughts, the, the um, frustrations, the hypocrisy that every vegan sees when our friends and family and colleagues and whoever on social media post beautiful pictures with their companion animals, with their pets, next to eating a burger. It's the same thing. Exactly. And is it an amazing that this thought process is unfolding on national television? This is getting very interesting. Well, I think that's a trick question. Yeah. You've got to love how it's a trick question when the hunter is, you know, put in a corner and they're like, oh, well, yeah, it doesn't really make sense. All of a sudden it's a trick. It's not a trick. No. It's the truth. It's the logical truth playing out. Yeah, it's just that he's being called out for his immoral actions exactly. and he doesn't like it. It makes him feel uncomfortable. Because you that Eli, giraffe would, wasn't your oh, pet. Nothing, nothing that tricky giraffe about, wasn't your There's pet. nothing tricky about that question because well, I've, noti I've, noti I've noticed on her Facebook page there's a real weird situation where you have these pictures of these slaughtered animals and then you have lots of cuddly pictures of this nice cat. So An animal's so an animal, right? An animal's so an animal, right? <laughs> Isn't it you hit, just? You hit the nail on the head, <laughs> oh. Piers. That's what every vegan is yes. saying. An animal is an animal. 
But we so basically arbitrary lines are being drawn exactly. here. The hunters draw their arbitrary line, yeah. the carnists who don't hunt draw their arbitrary line, yeah. and vegans are saying, hey, let's not draw any line at all, let's include all the animals in our circle of compassion and not kill any of them. I'm not allowed to have pets because I hunt. It doesn't mean that because you hunt you can't have pets, but it does make you a hypocrite. Yeah. No, I'm That's just saying, kind of... how would you feel if I came and I killed your pet cat and I, pr I posted pictures of me celebrating the killing? Would you like it? You know, that would be your choice because I've never killed a pet and most hunters don't kill pets. So again, these lines are being drawn. What difference does it make if we label some animals pets or not? Some people have pigs as pets exactly and then others eat them some yeah. people have donkeys as pets and others use them for work yeah these so, arbitrary lines mean nothing to the victims but what the hunter is doing here he's saying well i have to say that that's okay it's your choice because i'm saying hunting is okay because it's my choice it's my right yeah, yeah. so i can't deny you your <laughs> right and choice to kill a pet cat if i want to maintain my right and my choice to shoot this giraffe in the head. Yeah, see these ridiculous mental gymnastics yeah. that people who commit immoral actions are forced to play with themselves. So that there is kind of a derogatory question that just falls back onto the same people that are putting those comments on Facebook about killing another human being. How can people even process those kind of things in their mind? Because when you understand that all life matters and every single individual on this planet, it doesn't matter if they have two legs, four legs, wings, fur, feathers, skin, whatever, scales, wants to live exactly what well, again these arbitrary lines are forms of discrimination yes and this type of discrimination we're talking about is speciesism and speciesism is just another form of discrimination just like racism yeah. or sexism or just... heterosexism and we've all agreed that those are immoral we need to all collectively agree that speciesism is is immoral we would never think to go out and kill somebody's pet no i'm sure it wouldn't uh, but if you did you would do it with remorse <laughs> owned Really, Big time, huh? Yeah. But before we all get excited thinking that this uh, very famous television presenter in the UK is vegan or almost vegan or is almost there, his name is... Piers Morgan and we had a look at his Twitter page. <laughs> you can see that he's eating animals so he's made some connections in this interview as we can all see but he's missing the main link because the reality is that 150 billion animals a year are slaughtered for food not for trophy hunting, but for the food that we eat. So if we want to, as Pierce said, consider all animals as animals, they all matter, then that includes food animals. Yeah, he reminds me of our former selves, actually. Absolutely. Where we were eating meat, dairy and eggs, but then we were members of our local zoo yeah. and we'd go and admire the exotic animals and, you know, think that uh, we were doing our part, so to That's speak. That's right. I mean, we were, we were supporting the zoo. We were, you know, donating money yeah. whilst having a barbecue at the zoo grounds. Yeah. So Very interesting how this all played out on national mainstream television in the UK and now it's all over social media. So. We just wanted to share this and our thoughts. We think it's it's great, yeah. it's fascinating, and we're really glad that this debate is happening uh, in the mainstream. Absolutely. Let us know what you think in the comments down below, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, until next time, that going vegan <laughs> is not the most we can do. Oh, Pierce, it's the absolute least we can do. See you next video. Bye, guys. Jaden's video presents a balanced yes. view of vegan substitutes. Some are good and some are... Mm. Oh, oh, oh my god, it's really bad. Oh, oh my god.